Hey guys, we're checking out Analog Lab by Arturia. And also, by the way, check out my new keyboard. This is Keylab Essentials 61 MK3. So I'm going to do a video on that one, of course, very soon. And so let's dive into this. What exactly is Analog Lab and what you can do with this? So Analog Lab V is a preset player, but it's more than just playing those presets, there are a lot of things that you can do and you can even get two different instruments to play together and you can split the keyboard. I'm going to show you that. And there are effects that you can apply. And if you already have the instruments like from the uh, V collection by Arturia, then you can open the user interface of those instruments inside. So let me show you how the user interface is laid out and what you can do. So on the top, we have the different types of sounds. So that's one way to browse the presets. Another way for you is just to go by instruments. So if I'll click show all, we'll see all the different instruments by Arturia, including pigments and all other new instruments like the augmented brass, augmented piano strings and voices. So everything is here. And I can just go with one of those. Let's go with augmented strings and we get some example presets or I can click show more or see more and we'll get the whole list of the presets. And there are 301. So if you actually have the instrument itself, you, you can, uh, well, you can just open it up. So I can click this on the right side. It will open up with that specific preset and you get all the user interface that you would get if you open this instrument um, uh, as a standalone instrument, not inside the analog lab. Right, and if I, I just want to go and tweak things, I can do that right from here. I can click the advanced tab and do a lot of different programming to that instrument. I will click back and so let's continue to explore. So this is the explore the browser and I can clear everything and now you can do a lot of different filters. So you can filter by instrument, you'll see the instruments or maybe by style and we have a whole bunch of tags uh, by banks and if you really want to expand the preset uh, palette that you have, you can go into the store, clicking on the left side, and you can purchase more sound banks, more preset banks, and they're not so expensive, and that will give you a lot more options. So let's go back to the explore, and well, you get the idea. So let, let's see uh, what else we have on the home page. So on the home page, we have also discover more sounds, and you'll see Again, the store and we have the sound banks that I already have. So if I'll just go inside one of those, you'll see that we have the uh, Wavelength Nero Bass uh, preset pack. I can just try one of those. Right, and let's go again back to the home page and I'll show you some more stuff. So we have the designers and if you're interested to see who was the person behind any of the presets, you can uh, do that from here. Or if you just want to I mean, click show all, you'll see all the different designers and let's just pick one of those and you'll see the preset. So right now I have two filters. I have the wavelength neuro bass and also Yuli Yolo. So obviously he didn't design any of those uh, presets. I'm just going to click X and there you go. We have 130 different presets by this uh, sound designer. So if I'll just click any of those. Right, so now let's try and tweak this sound or edit. So we have few options. First of all, on the bottom, you can see that we have different dials. 
like color, morph, time, motion, chorus mix, phaser, delay, reverb, and the master. But we also have some faders. And by the way, if you have this keyboard, like uh, the Keylab, you see that we have the faders and we have the knobs here. So I can use that to change these, uh, these uh, different parameters. But there's more. You can also click the edit preset button right here and you'll get a chain of pedals, of effect pedals. And we have effect A and B as an insert effect. And we have the uh, delay and reverb as a send effects. But you can click the drop down and change the effect. So the first one is chorus. I can change this one to, uh, let's go rotary speaker. And the effect B, that can be, uh, let's go with the flanger. But the delay, you'll see that you have different types. So you have analog, digital, and tape. And for the reverb, we have a whole list of different options, right? And we also have a simple EQ on the right side. We have the treble mid and bass that you can tweak as well. And I can introduce this tape delay right here, just like this. And that will correspond to the delay volume and the reverb volume on the knobs right here. I can do this from here. Now let me show you something really cool. So you can take two different presets or two different instruments and layer them together, or you can split them across the keyboard. So I'm gonna start by selecting one of those sounds. Let's just go and select the first one. And I'm gonna go with this. And now I'm going to select the second one. So I'm gonna click add instrument and I'm going to select whatever. Let's go and just remove all those and get ourselves something interesting from, uh, let's say, pigments. I'm gonna go with this one. Let's have a listen. So we have the combination of both presets, both instruments. And what I can also do is, by the way, you can see the orange and the green lines just above the keyboard right here. So uh, this is just the key ranges. So let's just do this for now. And now we have a split of the keyboard. And of course, you can tweak this any way you like, and you can have some uh, keys overlapping like I did, or you can have a, just a clean split. But I actually like these sounds together. So that's what we're going to do. And finally, what you can also do, by the way, is if you change any of the sounds or maybe create layered instruments, you can save your own preset. That's really easy. We'll go into the menu on the top left and 
uh, well, you can do a lot of things here, like resizing the window, you have tutorials, help, and everything else, but you can save this preset. Now, once you save this, you, you probably want to name it, so you can call this one just test. Uh, it's going to go into the user banks right here, the author. Well, that's going to be me. And you can change the comments right here. Right. And next, what we need to do is just save this one. So it's real easy clicking this save. Now, if you want to find your own presets, go into explore. And what we can uh, just do is go by bank. So I'm going to click this drop down user bank. And here we have our own preset or our own version of uh, any of those presets. And by the way, let's go back to our explore. Just uh, remove all these uh, filters. You'll see that right now I have 11,394 different presets. That is a lot. So in conclusion, this is Analog Lab by Arturia. You probably can get this if you buy, uh, you know, any of the synthesizers or keyboards by Arturia like I did. So I have the uh, Keylab Essential 61 MK3. And so I'll see you guys in the next videos. If you have any questions on Analog Lab or these keyboards, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to answer. And uh, that's it. So I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.